DJ, 53rd Annual Low Passover. 53rd Annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You're here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God. Come on to save you. That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we no coward, we stop that business. We no cowards up in here. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach, Florida, 32926. Pots and sports nights. I gotta like this. This is like an apartment. This hotel, you know what I mean? This here right here is about to be holy ground. This is gonna be holy ground. All our beautiful, wonderful brothers and sisters from all over the world. You understand? We can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from this every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th at the Space Coast Convention Center. My camp undefeated. You cannot debate. You just want the clout. We just want the grace. I'm just trying to get it. This is going to be glorious. You hear what I said? Go ahead and read what you got. I know it's how the book of John, it. chapter 3, verse 16. For God so that? loved the world. For I'll God so you. loved the world. Mr. White Man. Mr. White Man. Well, then listen to me. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you want to say? I'll go ahead. You, go ahead. Read Isaiah 55. 11. What do you want to say? Read Isaiah. What do you want to say? He said, so, so shall it be my word that goes forth. Go, go, to, go to Isaiah. What you say? Isaiah 55 11. Isaiah 55 and 11. Okay, you want you want some attention? We're gonna give you some attention. Now you said Isaiah 55 and 11. What did that say? Read what that say. See what that say. Since he wanna know what the Bible say, we're gonna see what it say. Read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, Amen. and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So the Lord is saying in this scripture that whatever he says going to happen is going to happen. That's what he said. So let's find out some things that God said was going to happen. Give me Isaiah 14 and 1. Let me show you something. Now, let, since you said God's word go, is not going to come back void, what God said was going to happen. <laughs> Read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. The Lord is saying he's going to have mercy on Jacob, which is the southern kingdom, and Israel, which is the northern kingdom. The southern kingdom is the, is the uh, Judah Benjamin and Levi, which is what we would call today Negroes, Jamaicans, and Haitians. And the southern kingdom, would be, the northern kingdom would be the Hispanic tribe and the Native Americans. The Lord said he's going to put us in our land together again, which is our land. Jerusalem. Our oh, that's land. where we're from. Contrary to popular belief, black people are not from right, Africa. Uh, we were taken out of Africa and sold by Africans. But we are not Africans. That's why they say black people sold black people. Because Africans right. sold Jews. That's what it is. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. All you other nations will be joined with us. Now he said God's word don't come back void. Let's see what it says. And they shall cleave. 
to the house of Jacob. When you, when we get in our land, you are gonna be there too, cleaving to us. You know what cleaving mean? You gonna be saying, sir, you got some shoes I can wear? Can you give me a, 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 some, some water? I'm hungry. Can you give me some food steps? I need, I need some government assistance. You're gonna be cleaving to the house of Israel. Right. Read verse two. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And we're gonna take you and bring you to our place. That's right. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall do what? Shall possess them. Now you wanna talk so much, what does possess mean? Since God's word does not go back void, what does it mean to possess something? Shut up now. It means to own. That's what it means. And the Lord said, we're going to own you well. In the land of the Lord. In the what? In the land of the Lord. In heaven. In heaven, you're going to be my possession. That's what he said, stranger. Now, you want somebody to talk to you? I'm talking to you now. Read. For servant. For what? For servant. You said God's word don't come back void. Guess what God said? You're going to be a slave, a servant, and what? And handmaids. And they shall take them captives. Shall do what? And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. We used to be your captive, but not back up. Back up. Back up. Back, back up! Back up! Back up! Back up. Back up. Because guess what? We not Christians. Back up. We not gonna pray for you. We not gonna pray for you. Yeah, help them out, man. Help them out. He breathe. They were, and they shall rule over their oppressor. What are we gonna do? And they shall rule over their oppressor. You just act. You just pulled the scripture that said that God's word don't come back void. Well, guess what God's word just said that your people are going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Guess what that means? That means it has to happen. Right. According to the scripture, he pulled. He pulled the scripture that said, God's word don't come back void, and God's word said, you are going into chains in the kingdom of heaven. Well, you better watch what scriptures you pull around us, because we know the Bible. Right. And we are not your, we're not going to pull John 3.16 on you. We're going to show you what the Bible really says. And the Bible is the book of the Israelites. And it talks about the supremacy of the Israelites. That's, right. That's what it talks about. America talks about white supremacy and the Bible talks about black supremacy. Oh, we, you've been reading the Bible all that time not knowing it's your book of slavery. It's the book that's going to have you in chains. That's right. You the dummies that gave it to us. Now, you thought you were going to give us Christianity, and that's why you got mad when Nat Turner read the Bible. Because Nat, Nat Turner read the Bible and started to see that it was talking about hurting you, oppressing you. Oh, now you want to pluck our eyes. Now you want to kill, and you want us to be hung on trees. But the Bible says, according to Isaiah 14, that you are going into captivity and we will rule over our oppressors. Thus said the Lord, not us. We didn't make this up. The Bible is written and that's, what's got, that's what has to happen according to the scripture that uh, Psycho Bob pulled. You understand? And we coming out here to teach our people the truth. Now guess what white people, you, you wouldn't even have to have known that. But I guess the Lord wanted you to know it because he sent your brother over here to get you a, a quick lesson on, on the future. That's, right. That's what's going to happen. Now, you got any more scriptures you want to pull that make us bring out something else about the, about the Bible? Okay. ISUPK 53rd Annual Lord's Passover. 53rd Annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You're here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God. Come on to save you. That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we no coward, we stop that business. We no cowards up in here. Book your 
hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites, the IHG Hotel, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach, Florida, 32926. Your dishes, pots, and sports knives. I gotta like this. This is like an apartment. You know? And a hotel. You know what I mean? This here right here is about to be holy ground. This is gonna be holy ground. All our beautiful, wonderful brothers and sisters from all over the world. You understand? We can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from this every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th, at the Space Coast Convention Center. My camp undefeated. You cannot debate. You just want the clout. We just want the grace. I'm just trying to get it. This is going to be glorious. 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 glorious.